Today, we're answering a question that we get all the time here in the shop. People come in and ask us, what's the difference between the Ender 3 S1 and the S1 Pro, and what does that little bit of extra money get me if I go to the Pro? We're gonna address that right now. So first things first is the build volume. And in this case, there is no difference between either of these printers. They're both 220 by 220 by about 270 high. And that's all in millimeters, of course. So that's not a differentiating factor. If we start kind of at the build surface and work our way up, uh, you have a different build surface on the Pro versus the standard S1. The S1 comes with a polycarbonate flex sheet like this, that's kind of textured that we've seen on printers from Creality for, for quite a while. And on the Pro, you're getting the powder-coated uh, textured PEI. And for most people printing maybe primarily PLA uh, and other materials anyway, PEI is a fantastic option. And while the polycarbonate works great, sometimes I find that things stick too well to it and I end up kind of damaging the print surface as I try to get them off. And you can kind of see some remnants of that on this used build plate here. Um, well, whereas the PEI, I mean, it comes off perfectly once it's cooled. Uh, you're not having to scrape or hack at it and just get a simple little flex and it pops right off. So PEI has been my preferred build surface for, for most materials for, for quite some time now, multiple years anyway. Going up to the extruder where we're printing from, they are kind of the same. I think they call it their Sprite extruder. Um, slight differences between them as you move up to the Pro, the body and the lever here is all metal, whereas on this one, it's plastic. Um, so potentially some greater durability there being metal on the Pro. Um, and the Pro has a upgraded thermistor. Uh, so it's capable as per the literature of printing up to 300 degrees Celsius, um, whereas this one is 260 degrees. Now, you're still going to, you know, if you're printing high temperature materials like that, say like a glass filled or carbon fiber filled nylon or something, um, you're still gonna wanna make sure that you swap out that brass nozzle for a hardened nozzle. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna ruin your nozzle real quick with any of those abrasive filaments. Um, but 260 to, uh, to 300. Um, so if you have that need to print those little extra higher materials, um, this would be a good option for you. They both have this kind of molded, finished looking base. Um, with some storage in the front. Uh, little drawer in here. And aside from the looks of the units being a little bit different, this one has some little extra groove textures on the top. The drawer is a little bit larger on the Pro. Minor detail, it's larger, but also not quite as deep either. On the Pro, the body of the machine is actually, it's a molded plastic body. And on the original, this is all metal. Um, just minor detail to note. Continuing our way up from the extruder, we've got a filament runout sensor on both, so no difference there. On the top of the Pro, you do have this light bar. Um, so that's kind of nice that you can light your build surface and your printer, so you don't need to maybe leave the lights on and still be able to get some camera footage or some time lapse, um, depending. So kind of a nice little feature there. Um, no light bar on this one. You'd have to add that yourself if you wanted to. The screens on them are different. The Pro has a touch screen on it, um, whereas the original has just this dial at the bottom that kind of helps you cycle through the menu options. Um, so slightly different interface on the two of them. Um, whether touch screens are you know, kind of your thing or whether you'd rather keep your screen clean is, is completely personal preference, but it is a, a difference worth noting. So a quick recap. On the Pro, we have a light bar that doesn't exist here. We have a textured PEI instead of polycarbonate or PC build plate. You can reach about 30 degrees hotter on the hot end um, than you can over here. And this hot end is all metal as far as the construction of the casing goes and the lever, whereas this is plastic. Um, the enclosures at the bottom, we have a plastic enclosure versus a metal. Um, it's a little bit higher of an enclosure, so you end up with a larger uh, width and length, but also a uh, shallower drawer on the Pro than you do on the non-Pro. And on the Pro, we have a touch screen versus the rotary dial on the non-Pro. So that's about it. You can use that information to determine which printer is best for you based on your requirements and which little extra features you need or don't. 
Hopefully you found that useful. Remember, like and subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when we upload more videos like this. Thanks for watching.